What's up guys, this is SP Architect. I know that some of you have already watched this video tutorial, but there were some sound problems on that and I decided to remake this video tutorial for the newcomers. So let's get started. I'm not gonna introduce toolbars one by one. I think learning Architect by this way is easier. Firstly, we are going to draw walls and create a rough D shape. After that, we are going to add doors and windows. Finally, we are going to add other elements and furnitures. By doing so, we will have determined proper area of the floor plan. When we open ArchiCAD, we will see this starting screen. The template options, we will choose ArchiCAD template and click new. At the first, we are going to start this by making a wall. So, I am going to go to wall, on to somewhere here, the place isn't important. Get click an area and press the shift key. If you press shift key, you can create your wall with a ruler and you can't accidentally place your wall out of the ruler. While pressing shift, hit the tab key at the same time and the distance number is locked. You can type a number or distance. I'll make this 10 meters. But our units are millimeter right now. It's good to change to centimeter instead of millimeter, so I'm going to go to options. Go to Project Preferences and Working Units. Change millimeter to centimeter. Click OK. Now our unit is centimeter. I want to control this boss land. Hit the M key and click the corner. I'm going to start from here to other corner. You can see it's 10 meter distance. After that you can press escape key. You can see that our wall is a composite wall, but in this video tutorial we will change it a simple wall. I click the wall and I am gonna go to here. You can see three options here. First simple wall, second composite wall, third profile wall. By profile wall you can make your complex designs. I am just gonna go to basic wall. I am creating the roughly shape of the plan. I want to do the same wall again. But instead of this button, I press the ALT key and click the wall. Now I can do the same wall automatically. While drawing the wall, I press the SHIFT button at the same time. As you can see here, it's going straight. Since we are pressing the SHIFT key, we cannot accidentally go somewhere else. And here you can see the reference line of the wall. You just be sure that intersected walls are facing with their reference line. Here is inside of the building and this side is outside of the building. So I want to change this wall orientation. I press the M key and you can see that the wall is looking inside. By doing so you won't chase other problems in the future. While drawing wall or something like that, while pressing shift key at the same time, while not clicking, just moving mouse to other walls corner will take reference of that walls corner. If I click this, both plans will be the same. Now I have the closed shape, but I don't know what the area of this building. To measure of the area of the floor plan, I press the M key again. After doing that, I just click the corners one by one. As you can see here, our measured area is 138. There is another way to measure of the area of this building. We can use fields. From the left menu, I am just gonna go to field tool. Open the documents sub menu. And here is the field tool. In ArchiCAD before using command, you can use space button and magic wand tool appears. Magic wand tool will determine the edges of the wall. Click the field tool. And I'm just going to go to show area text. In this example, you can see our inside area is 122. By the way, our wall thickness is 30. You just click walls while pressing the shift key and change this value to 20. We must fix this filling. Click the edge of the fill and click again. You will see an opening menu here. We are going to use this offset tool and click the edge of the wall to offset. There you go. 
Now we can create the rooms. In order to achieve that, I'm just going to wall tool again. And before placing the wall, I'm changing the thickness to 10 centimeters. After that, we can delete the fill. Press delete key and duplicate this wall. We are going to copy this wall. I'm gonna go with drag a copy. I just click somewhere here and input 180. While hitting control key, we can trim something in ARCHICAD. Like so. Let's create our corridor and leave a room area here. So I'm just gonna delete this wall. And this wall. By the way, we must control area of the zones. So I prefer with going with fill. And do not forget to click show area. I press the alt key. And press the spacebar key. And click again. To use the magic band tool. Like so. As you can see in this area is not suitable for bathroom. So let's reduce this area. Click the fill and click the edge. In the opening menu we are going to click this. Click the offset edge. And reduce this. Like so. I think 8 is enough for a bathroom. Maybe it's a bit of larger. An empty room is created here. And this area is 12. And also we can make here two additional rooms. To achieve that as before I alt click this wall and make a new one. After that we are going to click this fill and click the split button. We are going to split this fill into two parts. To make that we are going to draw a line here like so and click this part or other part. You make a floor plan like this and you think that that was too big for a building so you want to stretch it down. In order to achieve that I'm going to use the stretch command. I go to mark tool and draw a rectangle like this where I want to reduce. After that I press the ctrl plus H but before using this command we must suspend the groups. So I press the escape key. After that from this part I'm just going to click this button and the group was suspended now and go to mark tool again. And make a rectangle again. And press Ctrl plus H. Click this corner. And you can move like so. For instance 200. There we go. Now we can stretch down other corner. I'm going to reduce this down by 200 centimeters as well. By the way, you can add control points into walls to change wall shape. To make that, I click the wall and click the edge of the wall again. In the opening menu, the first option was selected. This one. And with this one, I click somewhere on the wall again. After that, I hit the shift key and select this wall. After that, I click this wall edge. Click this wall edge, click this offset and drag like so. There we go. You can see that ARCHICAD created a wall into the side parts. As you can see there are separated two walls here. We are going to intersect them. To do that, when we select both, I go to this menu, this tool here, intersect. By clicking this, as you can see here, the walls are intersected. I think doing these adjustments in ARCHICAD is so easy. For example, you can trim with only control and this stretching so this control plus H command is very powerful. It stretches not only floor plan and also stretches 
by 3D your walls, slabs, roofs, morphs, so all of the tools you use with ARCHICAD. By the way, as you can see, we have created a roughly shape. Now we can go to creating doors and windows. Let's start with windows. So I'm just going to go to window tool here. When you click window tool, if you hit the Ctrl plus T, you can see its settings. And you will also open up the settings from here. In the settings dialog, you can change the window size, appearance, opening directions, materials, and as you can see, these windows types. I want to continue with this double window. I want to place this window to center of the wall. In order to achieve that, we have different ways. We can use all style tools, new architect automatic reference lines, or you can use just lines. Actually, it's more practical to use lines for me. After making a line between these two walls, I hover over this line and you will see the center point of the line. I can click onto that and make a new line. There we go. We have our center line. So we can place our window into the center of this wall by the center line. We have placed our window, so we can delete these lines. For this part I want to use Archicad's own helpers. Therefore I go to this tool. If we just click this little arrow, we can see additional options. We are going to use this between intersection points. While it was selected, I go to window tool. And this time we can see the center point of the wall easily. We are going to place other windows like this. After we place it our windows, we are going to jump into making the doors. We are ready to make our doors. The door tool is located here. When we click the door tool, we can hit Ctrl plus T. Ctrl plus T open up the settings dialog, like window or other tools. We can see the door types here. I think this door is appropriate for our floor plan. I'm going to select this. I will look up the other settings later, so I click OK. In this situation, I want to place my door 10 cm away from the corner of the room. In order to do that, I'm going to go to this tool. This time we are going to click this little arrow. In the opening menu, we are going to select this distance and input here 10 cm. When we are placing doors and windows, do not hesitate using this. After we placed a door, we can copy its settings to other doors with these pickup parameters and also shortcut was ALT key by the way. We ALT click this door and there was only left placing a door. Like so. By the way, we are going to place a bathroom window here. In order to do that, we are going to select our window and we are going to change its size from here. I am going to make that 50 to 50. As for the seal and header height, we are going to select this seal to wall base and make that 200. Since we have selected seal to wall base, if we change the wall height, the window elevation will be also changed. For this part, please take attention. Sometimes when we move objects in ARCHICAD while dragging that like this, we may want some space between our door and any wall. In this example, we will do that. As you can see, it says 76 cm away from the wall and I want to leave 20 cm distance. So I input here 20 and hit the minus. There we go. It's so easy. Just be sure that we have moved the door to its destination, but we haven't hit the enter. In this part, we are going to place our furnitures and objects. When you click the object tool, if you hit Ctrl plus T, you will see object options. As you can see, they are grouped according to their types. We will start from making bathroom furnishing. I go to plumbing fixtures, go to basins. Here we have basin object. If I click that, we can see additional options here. I'm just going to click this rectangular and go OK. And place that onto wall. After we place that, we will rotate that 180 degrees. I right click this one. Go to move. 
and rotate. After that I click the center, click here and click the destination to rotate. We are going to duplicate this one. After that hit Ctrl plus T. Then I go to butt tabs. And here we have butt tab object. I click this and click OK to place. There we go. We have placed our second object. I just rotate this one like this and place to its position. In ArcCAD, in the objects you can see these purple points. You can stretch your objects by that points. And of course you can change your object size from here. Here you can see width and length. I just increase the 75 to 85. And move the object. We are going to place our closet. In order to achieve that, we are going to duplicate this butt tab, Ctrl plus D and go to WC. We have WC options. I am going to select this one. At the right part of this window, we have some bowl type and center type. For the bowl type, unlike other BIM softwares are kept as its own ready to use objects and their side tools. I'm gonna select this one. For the cistern, go with none. After doing that, we can check it out from this preview window, from the top view. And also we have additional preview windows from other sites. There we go, we have our closet. We are gonna move this to here and rotate. Alright guys, now we are going to do our working room. We are going to copy this one to here. Ctrl plus T. Go to tables and office workstation. For the desk style we are going to go with straight and click OK. And move to its position. Maybe like so. We are going to copy this again. Ctrl plus T. We are just going to go to cabinets. I select this office cabinet and click OK. Drag to here, rotate and place. And duplicate for the second one. That was all it for the working room. Now we are going to make our bedroom. If you have watched this video till here, there is a very good tip for you. I want to show you duplicate shortcut. If you want to duplicate an object more than once, you don't have to enter duplicate command every time. When you are in dragging mode, you can just hit Ctrl and Alt. Oh yeah, now we can make multiple copies, like AutoCAD, huh? Now we can begin to make our living room. Let's start with sofas. As you can see here there are furniture layouts. And under that we have this sofa layout. As for features of these layouts we can place them as one group. So we don't have to place our sofas one by one. Of course we can uncheck one of them in the settings. In order to achieve that I just press Ctrl plus T. And here you can see our seating layout. I'm gonna uncheck that one. Click OK. There you go. Now we can place our TV unit next to this three person layout. Let's duplicate this and change that one with TV panel like so. Maybe we should move this window somewhere else. Maybe to here. After that we can place drawers under the TV. Click OK. Move to here. Let's change its sizes. 150 to 40. But there is a problem. Where is our TV? I guess that it's under the drawer object. In order to select that we can just make a rectangular selection. But before that just be sure to uncheck that one. I'm gonna click here and click here to finish. There we selected TV and furniture. I hit the shift key and click the furniture. 
After that, I'm going to right click the TV, go to display order and bring the front. Now it's on the furniture graphically. But in order to change their position in the 3D, we have to change their elevation in the object settings. In order to do that, you select the TV and go to this elevation and you just input here furniture height because as you guess that TV has the elevation distance even to furniture height. By the way, we can go to 3D view by F3. To zoom in and out, we are going to use mouse wheel. As for rotating, we are going to hit Alt and click mouse wheel. There we have our furniture and TV. As you can see, they are intersected. To fix that, I am going to select TV and change its height from here. Now they are at their true position in the 3D view as well as floor plan. There we go. I have created a place for the kitchen cabins. In order to make kitchen cabins, we go to object and here we have kitchen cabins group. We are going to place them one by one from this menu. By the way, this anchor point is behind the object. So we are going to place this point beside of the wall. Moving on, let's place other cabins. Here we have dishwasher, duplicate, here we have double door cabin base and we have dish tap onto that and here we have cook top oven. Let's click that one, click OK and place to here this corner. Let's duplicate this one and turn into kitchen drawers. To change the appearance of cooktop, we are going to go to Ctrl plus T. In the settings, click that arrow. We can select one of them. For example, like this. Maybe we can reduce this size with another cabinet, one part cabinet. So we have to replace this with another object. Maybe this one. There we go. In order to place our refrigerator, we are going to make a space from this corner. I'm gonna click this Ctrl plus T and go to refrigerator object. Where is it? Okay. Appliances. Okay. I found you. You are here. Let's select this one and click OK. Move to corner and array these cabinets to refrigerator like so extend this one to here because this was a furniture drawers There we go, we have placed our objects. Now we are going to make some hatch. For example this bathroom. We click this field. In the field settings we are going to select a pattern. Maybe this grid 30 to 30. As for the kitchen hatching, we are going to split this field into two parts. Select kitchen field and change its pattern. Maybe this grid 30 to 30. By the way, this yellow walls is looking very bad for me. I want to change their color. In order to do that, we have to select all of the walls. So, in order to do that again, I alt click any wall and hit Ctrl plus A. Like so. There you selected all of the walls. And then, we just go to Options, Element Attributes, Building Materials. There we have building materials and here you can see their priority, material surface and IDs and also you can see this check and generic structural as for the are selected wall objects. I can change their fields from here and its pattern types and pen types, color and thickness and background color. There you go. In this part we have planned our floor plan and placed our objects, placed our windows and doors. We have changed their properties. We have changed the color of the walls, changed pattern types, 
their pen types and colors and much more. I think that's all it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one.